Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about um, Speech at Detroit by Pontiac. Now, before I go into summary analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. So basically what happens here, Pontiac gives a speech to the Ottawa, Potawatomi, and Huron Indians. He wants them to join together, he wants them to give up their guns, uh, to give up the, the gunpowder and all the things that they've been getting from uh, the British. Uh, because the British don't have the best uh, int best uh, you know outcome or interest at heart for the Indians. Uh, they just want the land. They want their stuff. They want their prosperity. Uh, and they want nothing to do with the Indians. Um, so Bandia gives a speech to the Ottawa, Potawatomi, and Huron Indians about this uh, Delaware Indian that wanted to... Talk to the great spirit or you know this this spirit that they worship um, and um, he goes on this this transformative journey where he goes to a mountain he goes on a long path um, he, you know he goes on a journey for a long period of time he goes down these three paths he finds one path where there's a mountain and in, in this mountain there's a beautiful woman the beautiful woman tells him to go down and, and wash from this this river, this body of water, you know, she tells him to throw away his gun and all the things that he's gotten from the British. Then he climbs a mountain. Then he speaks to the great spirit. Uh, and the spirit tells him, you know, uh, your tribesmen, your, your, the Indians need to go back uh, to, their, to their traditions. You know, bow and arrow, wearing skins, uh, behaving like they used to behave, and, and that will help them, that will make them, uh, you know, great people again. Uh, and the Great Spirit also gives them some uh, lessons about morality, you know, you know, you shouldn't have more than one wife, uh, and, and don't, you know, practice witchcraft, because then that's devil worship. Uh, so that's what this Delaware Indian, or this transformative, this trance that this Indian went on, uh, this Indian spoke with the Great Spirit, and the Great Spirit told him that. And so, Pontiac talks about that in, in his speech um, to the three tribes. You know, he tells them that, you know, we need to go back to our roots. We need to get our skins. We need to get our bow and arrows. We need to go back to being one with the land and the country and, and you know, the, 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 the wilderness. Uh, and that's how we're going to be able to beat uh, the British, um, we can't, you know, use their guns, their materials, their weapons. These are not our ancestral weapons. We need to go back to our roots. Uh, and so that's the speech. That's the speech of, uh, it's a speech of warning. It's a speech of, you know, we need to go back to where we were. We need to remember where we come from. And we also need to kill all the British. Um, and so... You know, Pontiac is a person, you know, the Pontiac conspiracy, you know, he conspired, he, he banded together all types of tribes to go against the British. And, you know, Pontiac's rebellion. Uh, so Pontiac wanted to fight. He wanted to go to war. Um, you know, he did. He, this is not a joke. He really did. He did challenge the British. Um, but as we know today that, you know, he did not win. History is history. And um, these tribes are not what they used to be, or, you know, they're pretty much, um, yeah, they're just, the, to leave it at that, they're not what they used to be. There are still tribes in the United States, um, reserves, um, uh, reservations, excuse me, uh, but um, for the most part, um, you know, the, the land was conquered, was taken over. Um, and, um, but it, it was a valiant try to, to save or to try to save their, their ancestral lands. Um, so that was a speech, that's the speech at Detroit. <clears throat> that's the speech at Detroit, uh, by Pontiac. Uh, and, um, this speech did rally up, um, people. Um, and ultimately, there's a lot to take in in terms of deeper meaning, in terms of analysis. There's a lot to take in here uh, because um, we don't really have a clean account of um, Pon this speech by Pontiac uh, because the, the people, the witnesses, 
you know, that that were around to to hear Pontiac give the speech. Um, they didn't speak his language. Uh, and so um, different people will say different things um, um, uh, about Pontiac's speech or anything that comes from uh, Indian relations or, or speeches from Indians. You have to take it with a grain of salt. We're not exactly sure because our sources are not exactly you know, 100% credible when it comes to Native American writings and, and, and sayings, you know, if the, the people didn't speak their language, it's really hard to truly translate everything that they said in the speech. Uh, upon researching this, this um, speech at um, Delaware, uh, there's a lot of, of you know, of people who wrote about Pontiac's speech, what he said, what he covered. Um, and it's, it's, you know, it's not 100% clear when he gave the speech, where he gave the speech, and everything that he said within the speech. But the general consensus is that, you know, he spoke about going back to their roots, going back to bow and arrow, going back to their traditions and um, fighting the British and getting our land for ourselves and for our posterity, for our future. So, you know, it, it, this is very interesting because it, it gives you the fact that the Indians, when the British arrived, that they were abandoning their culture, their way of life, and um, they were adopting and, you know, um, you know, drowning themselves into British way of life. The way that the British cook, the way that the British hunt, the, the guns, the, the nice tools, the, the weapons. They were trying to use and be more like British, trading with the British, um, you know, using cooking utensils that the British used. Um, and, um, this Pontiac was like, we, we have to stop doing this. We have to go back to our forefathers. We have to go back to our natural ways, um, and also kill all the British because they're changing our land. They're taking our land and, you know, we're not going to have anything left. So he, he, you know, went through, and this is also something from this Delaware Indian, Kind of like the Great Spirit told him, you know, go tell all the other tribes, basically, that you need to go fight off the British and take back your land. But, you know, when, when I think about this clearly, you know, going back to bow and arrows, that might be traditional. It might be tradition. But again, if you bring bow and arrows to a gunfight, it's just not, you know, just based on my perspective and from reading this. I understand it's really great to go back to your roots, but still, bow and arrow and and guns. The, one side has bow and arrow, and one side has guns. It, it it's just not a good. Doesn't sound good to me, but traditions are important. Um, so that's ultimately what happens in speech at Detroit. It's not at Detroit. It's it's really uh, you know. Pontiac, he's not speaking to white settlers. He's not speaking, uh, he's, you know, to white settlers. He's speaking to Indians, to the different tribes, telling them that um, we need to join together. Uh, we need to rebel. We need to, you know, pretty much take back what's ours. Um, and again, you know, we're in 2023 today. Yeah, America is America. And, um, well, you know, what Pontiac was trying to achieve, it, it wasn't achieved. Um, there are reserves uh, in America uh, for a lot of tribes of Indian descent. But for the most part, America from sea to shining sea, um, sea to shining sea was conquered. Uh, and, um, and that's what you have today. Uh, so that's... That's the speech at Detroit. That's what it was about. It was Pontiac trying to get back to his roots, um, get back to the bow and arrow, and stop ad adopting the, the ways of the British. Uh, so that's all I have to say about that. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next 
video.